Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are continuing Blake Stone, Aliens of Gold. Uh, we are currently working our way through the seventh floor, and uh, I am trying to get my heart rate back under control uh, because of the uh, elite guard that decided to, you know, hide behind this pillar and scare the hell out of me. So, uh, I believe this is the only way we haven't been yet. Oh, it is a good thing I happened to uh, notice the wiring coming from that ceiling turret. Nice. And here I thought this hallway was just uh, kind of ominous with all of the health and ammo that it was giving us leading up to this next area. Well, he's playing dead. And now he's actually dead. Alright, uh, no, no turrets in this room, which I'm a little surprised about. Sneak back in the previous room to get some ammo again. Uh, is that a locked door? Yes, that's kind of weird. I'm not used to seeing locked doors that lead to areas that we can access in other ways. Secrets on the bottom. This does seem like the kind of place that might have some secrets hiding around in it. Uh, obviously not in that wall. Oop. All right. Blood stains on the walls are never a good sign. That is a very strange secret. Is there another secret nested inside of it? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Unless there's one... No. There could have been maybe enough room for, like, a very small hallway in the western wall of this room, but I guess not. That's kind of weird. Uh, what about down here? No. Alright, so I guess there's only one direction to go. Alright, I think we lucked out because there is no respawning plate. Alright. Uh, what does that get us to? 84% of the points. There might be another secret off of this one. Apparently not. Uh, a few more walls to check. And there is enough room in this inside wall. Nothing. So this room is clear. Oh, why do I have a feeling that Goldfire is going to show up? In the first episode, Goldfire loved to show up in, uh, like, the break rooms. Which seemed a little weird, but... Also sort of made... a strange kind of sense. Now we just have to wait for this guy to get back up. And we have a teleporter in the west. Yeah, the west wall. And there aren't many walls in this room that could hide a secret. Alright. Uh, so really only this wall. And nothing in there. Alright, this makes me a little nervous, so I am going to drop in a save game. The music is still here, which means obviously it's taking me to the same floor. That is one thing I noticed about the, um, the teleporters to the, um, secret level, is that they always... The music always cuts out. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, you didn't get to hear it, but this guy here uh, did made me tense up very badly. Uh, so he he very much scared the hell out of me. Nice. So now we don't even have to look for any more secrets. And I think getting uh, those three bonuses puts us at the top score for all of Blake Stone right now. All right. Uh, it is this way, leads to the main room, and then back to the elevator. All right, and now we are off to the eighth floor. Which is also some uh, very nice music from the first episode. Um, Alright, so we have yellow access. That's an unlocked door. And green access. Alright. Where the hell was that? Oh, it was over here. Ah, uh, damn it. I probably should have saved that large floor steak for uh, when I was at lower health. These uh, side panels might be hiding something. No. And usually they don't stick secrets into um, jagged uh, diagonal walls like that. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'll grab the med kit while I'm here. Hmm. This is a very strange shape to this room when there's not really anything going on over here. Oh. Except for Goldfire. Which I think I just noticed a little pixelated ponytail on him. Which I mean... I suppose I should have realized that if anybody in this game was going to have a little ponytail like that, it probably would have been him. Alright, next up... Oh, damn it. that little pool of goo. Yep, it is. <laughs> Attention standing in toxic waste. I uh, already checked that one. I thought I just heard another of uh, the... Dr. Dr. Goldfire. Jesus. Oh, tell me that's... Okay. I was nervous that this was a, uh, a, a room with a spawning plate. Which is probably exactly what the developers were going for. Because this, this episode has had a lot of, uh... I keep calling them Electro Mutants, but I'm not sure if that's their actual title. Uh, but they've had a lot of those in this episode. And so now I'm always expecting that I'm going to see one that uh, has a spawning wall right nearby. I almost missed some treasure there. Uh, which were, oh nice, no informants on this level. So if I wanted to... If I wanted to, I could really go crazy. Let's 
trying to be very careful right now because I'm very low on health. Deactivated barrier on floor eight. Oh god, do I want to... Alright, there's no secrets in the middle of this room. Which is good, because the last time I found a secret in one of these rooms, and it was in the center, it ended up releasing a bunch of uh, enemies. Were there medkits in here, or was that the next room? That was just treasure over there. Alright, that's a lot better. So, I do have a yellow key, so I guess I'm just heading back into the the first room. Uh, which was over... No, that one was green. That's weird. I wonder if he could see me, or if somehow he was triggered to wake up as I opened the door. I'm trying to be very careful and taking all of these things out as I go. Just to make sure I don't forget one and uh, have it blindside me somehow. I love the silent pistol. Even though the, uh, the silent pistol is not the best when it comes to fighting a lot of the stranger enemies, like the ceiling turrets, and... When is this thing gonna stand up? Alright, he is now dead. You don't get a lot of time to react to uh, enemies that notice you. Which, that's part of why we're playing on the difficulty we are. I don't know why I decided to switch to the silent pistol after he had already seen me. I haven't used any... Uh, Another barrier on floor 8. I haven't actually found any of these barriers. I just know I've been lowering them. I kind of miss that previous episode, it was either, I think it must have been episode three, which had these enemies, but they were always in rooms that had the Xylan orbs, so it kind of, it kind of gave the effect like the, um, like those guys were actually generating the Xylan orbs somehow. Okay, so a secret that leads back around to the entrance. I do want to check if there's more secrets in here. Because this looks a little fishy, like the shape of it. No, and there's nothing in there. And I don't think there's enough room in the west wall to, uh, to hide a secret. Is there anything to the south in this room, though? Uh, no.
Not that I really need any health or ammo at the moment, but I do like being able to find secrets. Alright, so we have the... Is that the green access now? It doesn't look green, but I guess it was. Nice. All enemies destroyed. Uh, but there is another 7% of um, points to be found. I'm not going to go too crazy looking for them. Yeah, it was really just hitting up... Oh, hello. There we go. So that is two floors in a row that I've 100%ed. Which still makes me very sad. Oh. I saw movement as the elevator doors were closing, and I thought for a second that maybe Goldfire had shown up again. Alright. Onward to the ninth floor. And this is going to be our big boss battle floor. Um, you know, I feel like I don't... What the hell is this music? Hold on. Let me go back to the 8th floor because I'm pretty sure... Oh, I accidentally hit F. Yeah, you can hit F and C to turn off the ceiling and floor textures, which really the main reason you would do that back in the day is... To, uh, to make the, the game run better on your computer. Because not, not everybody had a uh, top-of-the-line computer that could run Blake Stone at, you know, however many frames a second is maximum. Alright, so now we are back to full ammo. Um... And you know what? Uh, we're getting close to the time limit for this video anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is cut things here. And then our next video will be the last video uh, of this episode. And it will be the ninth floor and then the secret tenth floor. Uh, so anyway, as always, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.